Notion is an amazing tool to track your data. And whether you're running your business in Notion, building the world's craziest habit tracker, or simply record your workouts, you will inevitably end up with a ton of information. Now, just how great would it be if you could actually visualize that data? I've been waiting for years for Notion to introduce charts. And today, we finally got the second best thing. Still no native charts in Notion, but a workaround that is free and powerful and super simple to set up. How simple? Ridiculously simple. Just have a look at this. Here I have some sales data for my fictional company that sells Notion Max and recently business has been going really well. Now, a plain database with just information is nice, but if you can visualize the data, it's so much better. And it didn't even take me five minutes to put together these two quick charts, one that shows my customers and the units sold uh, over time for the last month, and another one that shows me a breakdown of my sales uh, per weekday. And you see these graphs are interactive, so if I hover over them, it shows me a further breakdown of that information. This is possible thanks to Rose. Rose is a new company that is doing to spreadsheets what Notion was doing to project and knowledge management making it a whole lot better. And they just released a brand new integration with Notion that opens up a ton of new use cases. Charts is the most exciting one, and I'll show you in a second how to set it up. But make sure to watch to the end, because there are two more secret use cases that really help push Notion to the limits. Best of all, it's free. So thank you, Rose, for sponsoring this video, and thank you for making charts in Notion possible. So the first thing you should do is to sign up for Rose, link for it in the description, and then this is what you see after you log into your account and create your first spreadsheet. And it's super simple now, I'm on the free plan, nothing else is required. And what we can do is we need first need to connect our database to Notion. Now, in order to do that, we can click on data actions, and then we can uh, search for integration, so for Notion. And now we can uh, see that we can import our um, your Notion database into Rose, and that's what we want to do. So we will do that, and then we can click on import a Notion database, and then if you haven't connected Notion yet, then you will be prompted to uh, do that here, right? So you can click on your settings here and add new account or open integration settings, and then you will be uh, guided through the onboarding. Super simple, you just need to authorize with your Notion account, and then select the specific pages that your rows should have access to. Now, very important that Rose needs to have access to the specific page where your database is in Notion. So either make sure that during that step, you select it here, or after you added integration in general, you can go back to Notion and add the integration to that specific page. So I already connected my Notion, but I have not given it access to the specific page, to the specific database. So let's do that. I will go here and then I can click in the top right corner on the three dots and then scroll down to add integration, uh, add connections, and I'll just look for rows and add it like this. Now, if you don't see rows yet, even though you added it to your account, you can either refresh your browser or restart your desktop app. Sometimes it takes a minute or two for it to show up. So that's everything. Now rows can access our database. Now we just tell, need to tell it which database to access. And by the time this video out, is out, you should actually have a drop down here where you can select all the databases that rows has access to. But alternatively, what you can also do is you can look for the ID of your database and just paste it here. And in order to do that, you can go to your Notion and then if you have a database, you want to make sure that you open it as a full page. So here you can see this is a normal page and I just embedded this database as an inline. So you first want to open, make sure it's open as a page and then you can click on the top right corner and then you can copy the link to this database and then you can go back and actually paste it here and then you can inspect it. And you see I have first my notion, then I have the name of my workspace and then you have this long sequence of random numbers and then a question mark. And what is between that question mark and the slash, that's your actual database ID. So you wanna go there, paste that part, uh, copy that part, and then head on over to rows and uh, uh, yeah, paste that ID here. And now you can click on build a table with all that data. And there we go. Now if we scroll down, we see our database with all that information. And we can actually collapse the sidebar so we have a bit more space. And by default, it just pulls in all your different properties. And you see, it pulls in even properties that are even, not even created, right? That you don't even see, right? Created time, last added time. I haven't even added them, but you still can see it. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on Edit Data Table. And that pulls up the side menu. And now we can remove the things that you don't need to see. So I don't need to see the ID, the created time, last added time, created by, last added by. I just want to see units sold, customers, total earnings. I also don't need the URLs. And I want the data in the front, so I can just like push this one uh, to the front, or you can also reorder it here. Now when we're done, I will save all my changes. And now I have my cleaned up database here that has the same information as a Notion. I can also quickly sort it by date. And now you see I have my sales data here, and I have it also in rows. 
Now, the cool thing is, because this is an integration, uh, you can also schedule a refresh. So that way, even if your Notion data changes, you can always keep this up to date. And you can do this also here at the table. You can go down, schedule, refresh, and now it will update it. Now, depending on which plan you're on, you can change different update schedules. On a free plan, you can do it daily. Uh, and on other plans, you can do it down to like uh, only every minute, I think. And yeah, that way, whenever something changes here, it changes there. And then all your analytics and graphs and those will also change. So let's build our first chart, shall we? For that, I will simply like highlight the area in my database that I want to build a chart of and then say insert, and then please give me a chart. Now, uh, rows will automatically interpret the data and figure out, okay, what is it that I might wanna see? And then I can pick the thing. So I could have a line chart, right? Or I could also say, okay, I want actually a combo chart. So uh, in here, and what I want to see is I want to see on my main axis, the date. So that's fine, right? So I have my date down below and then on my different axes I want to have first on one my um, units and my customers and on the other axis I want my uh, total earnings and then one of them should be a bar chart and the other thing I would like to have as a line chart and then of course also <laughs> different different colors maybe not green and yellow that looks horrible uh, maybe let's go here for like this light purple and then for this blue and that is my chart. You can of course like have a few more options right? you can like uh, modify things, you can change uh, the axis and so on and so on. But this is already looking pretty good. Let me move myself over here so that we have the full chart here. You can then quickly rename it, right? So this is my uh, where my customers, uh, oops, customers and the uh, total uh, earnings. And then we can take this chart and embed it into Notion. In order to do so, we first need to share our general spreadsheet. So we can click on share and then we can say uh, here, uh, share privately with the link. And that way in general, we can now start publishing our charts. So we can close this and then I can click on my chart here, click on the three dots and say embed. And this will automatically uh, pull up this embed code. And then you can just click on copy URL and this will highlight just the URL part. And then I can head on over to Notion and embed it. Now let's actually remove our database ID and let's style this a bit with a two column layout. So we drag our database here and then on the other side, we can simply paste it and say create embed. And now our chart loads here. Now we can of course resize it here, but again, like it's fully interactive, right? We can hover over things and we have the detailed data. And the second something changes in rows, it changes also here. So let's assume, right, I have a data refresh and I've scheduled something and I said, okay, actually we sold here, uh, let's say, um, $500 worth of stuff. And then we can go over here and we see now we have this 500 big spike here on the side. That's how easy it is now with a new integration on rows to create your charts in Notion. It takes, doesn't even take five minutes, right? You just need to connect it once and then you take over your database and then you can create these charts. Previously, it was also possible with rows to create these charts, but there you had to write your own API call. I have actually a separate tutorial, but that was a lot lengthier, a lot more technical and took you a lot more time. So now I really, really love how easy this has become. Now, as promised, there are two more amazing use cases for this integration. First, you can finally get spreadsheet capabilities for your Notion data. That means it's time to do some advanced calculations and fun stuff like pivot tables. For this example, I quickly expanded our table that we got from Notion and I've added basically the weekdays. So now we might want to figure out, okay, which days of the week do we actually sell how many products? And to do so, again, super simple. We just uh, take, highlight our, our data and then we go to insert and then we pick the pivot table option. Uh, let me move myself over here. And then once we added that, we can now pick the volumes, uh, the values uh, for our pivot table as usually. So we can say, okay, and the rows, what we want, okay, we want our weekdays. And as the value, I would like to have the, oops, <laughs> the, um, let's say total earnings. And then instead of uh, having it count like just the, the number of uh, entries, I want the sum, just like any other regular old pivot table. But again, on your Notion data, so that's super cool. And uh, just like with the chart, what you can do is you can take this and we can uh, take uh, embed it into our Notion space. So we can click here and we can copy the URL and then we can head on over to Notion and add it to our information. So on our dashboard here, I can go below my uh, database and my, my graph. I paste embed link, set, tell it to embed it. And now I have uh, the automatically updating pivot table for the data here. And again, right, if this updates, it also automatically updates this uh, embed. And then, of course, last but not least, what we could do uh, with our pivot table is to turn that then into a chart, right? So if you want, for example, a pie chart on how this looks, you go again to insert, chart, and then this time uh, pick the uh, the pie chart and we want our weekday and then we want our, oops, uh, 
individual values here and of course not a grand total so i would remove that one and there you have it and then the process to embed it of course is exactly the same as previously shown and second my favorite your personal ai data analyst notion has its own ai and it isn't bad but there's still a lot of features that are missing for example you can't really get information on your data set as a whole but rose has built exactly that just connect your data to rose activate the ai analyst and let it do the work for you find key insights done summarize data done suggest the best way to visualize your data and then even build the chart done done and done so we have our data in notion and we visualize it with the help of rows and then we use rows ai analyst to really get additional insights so again on our database what you can do again that's possible on the free plan it's absolutely amazing you can click on the ai analyst and then it opens your analyst up it takes a second for the first time when you do it to just look at information and then you see first you have some quick insights right so it tells me okay i've uh, sold a total of 408 units uh, on average the customer orders seven pieces our highest total earnings is 750 and so on and so on of course sometimes it's still like uh, also adds information it's not the most helpful like the those day of the week is one right that's uh, kind, kind of obvious but still uh, super cool now you can do two things first and also on top of this uh, it has deep dives right so it suggests you automatically a specific analysis so it could say okay do you want to actually have your total units sold and earnings by day of the week and i say yes this sounds amazing so i can click on this and then it will ask me okay do you want to copy the formula to calculate this yourself or do you want me to just insert it as a table so i can say okay please insert as a table and now at the bottom of my spreadsheet I get this table with the uh, like the, the pivot table with the analysis analysis that it just did automatically for me or alternatively if the insights that you want are not yet there you can simply go in here and ask it any question about your data and that creates an additional deep dives that in turn you can just like with one click turn into an actual pivot table and then re-embed into notion it's super cool because it doesn't just like instruct you on how to do something right but it actually does it for you in the program so i think there's an amazing amazing uh application of ai and yeah it just really helps to make more sense of your data so to get started with all of this yourself head to the link in the description and go to rose with all of these new methods to analyze your data in notion it's becoming even more important that your Notion workspace is built efficiently. One of the most powerful upgrades you can make, stop using tags. Yes, I mean it. I've actually recorded a full video on this topic and what to do instead. Just click here and I'll see you in a second.